Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Today we are at the opening, the beginning of Mount Lanairu to clear up another rift way up here. It is the second of three that we need to do for the lands of the goddesses quest, so let's get back to it. We're gonna hop into this horse that we found and we are moving up this way. So there's a lot of creatures around here, but I don't think we need to worry about it too much. I know there's, yeah, a bit of a cave-in over here. It does make me curious though to see what's up here. Where are you going? What was that? Okay, I mean, thanks, but I wanted you to climb up there if possible. Okay, almost, almost. Come on, you got it. Yeah, go right up here. Keep it moving. Is there anything of interest up this way? Huh, guess not. All right, well, you could hop around the trees a little bit. It's always a fun thing to do, but I don't think there's anything really to worry about too much here. We are just going to hop into this cave by using a bomb fish to break into it. That shouldn't be too bad. Right over here, bomb fish, boom, got it. So let's get the horse out of here just so it's safe and let's head in. I don't think we can go into the cave with the horse, so we're on our own with that one. But here we are, what does it say? Uh, Hebra Mountain Passage. So yeah, to get to Mount Lanairu, I guess we need to get through Hebra Mountain. Well, first things first, let's explode that. Cause I don't know what it'll do. Uh, nothing, okay. Seems like there might be a couple ways to go. Like if we take a look up here. Oh no, I thought this one to the left. I see. I feel like it would be easier then. Dealing with all that is a flying tile. And then, oh, gotta be careful here. But one thing I can do, I think. Set up the bed, another bed. Slice you away. There we go. <laughs> and then a bomb fish, right? Uh. Where did the bomb fish go right here? Actually, this might be, oh no, I thought it was too expensive. We're good. Why did you do that? <laughs> curious, curious, but uh, I will do that again, I guess. There we go. I'm gonna fall, but it, it at least breaks that open, which is what I wanted. I thought I could make that jump. Turns out I can't. Uh, Let's get over there though. Just like this, and then the bomb fish. That's what I need. I think I'm going to oh, do it right about now. And perfect. So we just need to get up there. We're just gonna go all the way up. Uh, guess I should have been on that. It'll come back down, eventually. Okay, the Heber Mountain is what we need to get to. I think that we need to get up to the top of Heber Mountain and climb the clouds, according to what people were saying before. So, I mean, I guess we'll find out. Spooky in here so far though. Just the atmosphere and everything. I'm gonna put that there, and while it does its thing. Oh, did it explode? I guess not. Well, there's a treasure chest over here we can check out too. Whoa, hey, got a friend. Not much of a friendly friend. But uh, what do we get in here? Some warm peppers. That's it's nine of them, it's quite a lot. We spent a lot of them making smoothies because somebody at the base of the mountain did warn us of uh, it being really chilly. So what should I use to fight this guy? For right now, uh, I don't know. Lots of possibilities. I guess I want something that can go into the air and fight. So maybe that's good. Come on, help me out. That did not help at all. Uh, okay, well, it's not spinning around. Set it on fire and then hit it with a craft. There we go. <laughs> that works. It doesn't have a ton of health, so we're able to get through one way or another. And what's up here? I can't grab onto that type of rock. I don't think so. And for now, I can jump up this way. Wow, seems like there's a lot going on over here. Uh, I'll explode that first. Then I can just push this to the side. Interesting. Get that there. And where will this lead? Right back here. I think I see what I do now. Not that, whoops. <laughs> I need to get, yeah, this spider again. Is that too far? I guess so. Huh. Because if I can move that big rock to the left now, we should just be able to yeah, get through like that. Uh, no, <laughs> not what I meant to do in the slightest. It might be too late to get back up there, but I'm gonna try. Bring me up. And then I will just climb up this stuff. Let's send all of these back real quick. 
just so that I can pull this over to this side. Perfect. Now I need to get up there. So if I could just, ooh. Yeah, that was good. But now we gotta wait for this to bring us all the way up again. As soon as I can. Okay, that didn't do much. Uh, Actually, that's a little bit weird. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, it's coming down, it's coming down. As long as we can meet up with it again. All right, gotta catch back up with it. <laughs> This has gotten a little complicated, but I got it, we're good. Excellent. Just gonna avoid you and get to the next section. Huh. Oh, it's looking pretty chilly around here, so this might be where we have to be concerned for our health. Whoa, here we are. We've made it to Hebra Mountain. It really is chilly around here, huh? Lots of new enemies too, all very icy. They've adapted to this environment. All right, looks like rifts have spread through this whole mountain too. All we can do now is push forward, Zelda. Yep. Will do, so rift on Holy Mount Lanairu. Keep searching for a way to get to Holy Mount Lanairu and its giant rift. You'll have to make your way through the snowy heights where smaller rifts have spread. All right. So of course we wanna grab this right here. Checkpoint to get back here at any point would be great. There is a rift over here, but it's certainly a smaller one. I don't know if it's even one that we can really do much with at the moment, but one thing I definitely wanna do is just have you climb up here so that we can take a look around. So it looks like got a couple of things of interest over here. Uh, which, it won't lead to too much. If I can fight these guys though, it's at least a nice way. Whoa, these guys are new actually. And they are freezing me quite a lot. Uh-oh, not good. What if I were to back up a little bit and then throw these guys at you? That just freezes them solid. So maybe not the best move. Uh, can I fight these guys or what? Okay, yeah, if I can electrocute them, that might not be too bad of an idea. And then bomb fish. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't think that hit them wasn't quite close enough. This is really not good. Uh, Come on, big guy. You gotta be able to do something before you're frozen. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get some energy back from it. Cool. Glad we recovered something from that situation. Now these enemies are also new, so if we can knock you out, whoa. Cool, cool. <laughs> this guy makes quick work of them. And we get ourselves the Snowmall Echo a strange and hostile collection of living snowballs. This creature's true body is the head. It can regrow lost snowballs. Interesting, so it's like a Mario Pokey, but it's made out of snow and evil. Let's move you out of the way so I can also pick up this uh, twisted pumpkin, just one of them, but I needed more of them, so that's still pretty cool. And I can make these guys fight. I don't know if that's really worth it. I think it'd be better just to get some of these guys out, this dark nut, because he makes quick work of everybody, it seems. There we go, oh, and we can get our is this our fifth and final stamp? It is, awesome. So our second stamp card completed with the cute little pup on there. Hey! Here he comes. <laughs> how are you? Yeah. Hi and howdy, stamp guy here. I've loved stamps since I was a nitty bitty guy. Now am I rule's greatest expert. You filled up another card. Here's your next reward as promised. You've got a knack for stamps. Who knew you'd already already rally through two cards? And we get a golden egg for it, nice. Oh, we got three golden eggs for it, wow. What joy, I'm truly moved. I feel I should spill all the secrets of my past. Hmm? Not interested? I thought you'd be stamping your feet to learn all about it. Then on to the next card. All right, well, we get our third card, which has a shark on it. You got the thrilling stamp card. This is the stamp card wielded by Stamp Rally experts. It is printed on quality paper that highlights, highlights the ink beautifully. Cool. Okay, all together now. Ready, set, go, Stamp Rally. More stamps are out there waiting for you. And another reward too. Wowee. All right, well. Uh, wanna know my story? Glad to share. I'm the stamp guy because I love stamps. I started this stamp probably so that everyone wanted the thrill of plunking a stamp. 
And that's the end of that story. I thought you said you had more. I guess not. Well, we got another twisted pumpkin here that I definitely wanna grab. And oh no, we've reached it. You're shivering, Zelda. Are you going to be okay? It's windy and snowy up here, much stronger than before. You'll freeze before long. Can you bring out something to keep you warm? I can. Uh, right now it's just a potion. But we did make these, they give us five minutes of chill proof, so I really will have to hustle and make sure that we don't spend our time dilly-dallying too much, because it's not a lot of time where we get the chill proof. But for right now it works, and that's the new enemy right there. We get ourselves some more fortified, pum or twisted pumpkins. Fortified is like what we can find at in Breath of the Wild and stuff. What is this enemy then? This is Lever Echo. A patient subterranean monster, it waits for prey, then bursts to the surface, rotating its blades to attack. Interesting. Here, let's do that too. And get my pumpkin out of it. That's what I wanna see. So we don't have too many of those. Uh, so taking a look around the map, I just wanna keep an eye on everything. Make sure I'm not missing any anything anywhere. Knock you out. Oh, this ice keys. Let's get you. Thank you. Learn that. Cool. You learn the Ice Keys Echo, a flying monster surrounded in a or shrouded in a zone of frigid air that can freeze enemies cold. Pretty nice. Back over to this group of enemies. Ow, I got hit by something. I'm a little confused as to what, but if I could get your attention up there, buddy. Here we go, here we go. And then, yes, gotcha. What else is going on around here? Put you there. So can I get hit by my own guy? No, I can't. I must have just got hit by a snowball that was bouncing around. What is this? Uh, it's snoring. What's that strange sound? Whoa, what is this thing? What is that? Rift on Holy Mount Lanayru updated. As you braved the terrible blizzard, you heard a strange sound like a growl. There's something very unusual nearby. Hello. You okay? You just sleeping? Soundly. No, no. Please don't leave Conde here. Oh, Aw, oh, you're adorable. What? Conde was only sleeping. Oh, so you're Conde, you're talking in the third person. Oh, who are you? Did you wake up, Conde? Thanks, small one. You too, much smaller one. Oh, you can see me? Of course Conde can see you. But, small ones, aren't you cold dressed like that? We are. Conde has an idea. Why don't you stay at my house until the snow blows over? Oh, oh, yes, that is one of Conde's best ideas ever. Let's go together. Please follow closely so you don't get lost in the storm. Well, okay. So we met a new friend, don't run off too fast. You met Conde out in the blizzard. He lives on Heber Mountain and has welcomed you to stay with him until the blizzard is over. Follow Conde to his house. Will do. So luckily we're staying warm for now and then maybe Conde can help us stay even warmer. Oh, let's put out this guy to help fight these enemies before they become a problem. Okay, I'll let you do your thing. Even if it's a rupee, I don't mind that too much. Hmm. I guess we can worry about exploring this area more in detail once it's safer to do so. Because if we can just ah, wait out this storm, that is much preferred. Oh, and you're like melting everything. What's that? The bridge is broken, but we need to cross here to get to Conde's house. Conde can still get us there fast. Want to get there fast? Yeah, sure. All right then. Climb onto my back, small one. Whoa. Hold on tight, Zelda. Whoa! That was a huge jump. Good job. And I guess we're still following. Neat. Oh, where'd you go? Uh, turn the corner and you're gone. All right, well, we got this teleport spot, which will definitely be helpful right here. The waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp here using the map. Cool. 
And, uh, oh, here's Kande and his house. Hey! So, here we are, Kande's house. It's warm and toasty inside. Well, then let's head in. Appreciate the hospitality, Kande. Whoa, I like it in here. Welcome to Kande's house, small one, and much smaller one. You won't freeze in here, given that it's roasty, toasty, and all. We do have names, you know. We're more than just small and smaller. I'm Try. This is Zelda. Oh. Tr Zelda and Try. Kante can remember that. Oh. So, Zelda and Try, you're welcome to rest here until it stops snowing. Oh, oh. since we're saying names, Kande should say his. Oh. Kande's name is Kande. How nice to have guests. It's been, well, a long, long time. What did you two come up here into the mountains for anyway? Well, I guess to fix the rift. Fixing rifts? Three goddesses? Kande doesn't quite understand, but it sounds hard. We're trying to reach a different mountain, Holy Mount Lanairu. Do you know how to get there, Kande? Lanairu. Lanairu. Oh, Kande does know that name. Big Brother told me about it. Your Big Brother? Oh. He's a great explorer. His adventures take him all over the place in a hot air balloon. Big Brother said his next great destination was Holy Mount Lanairu. He said he was going to launch a flight from the top of Heber Mountain to get there. Oh. Kande has waited here along with Dad until Big Brother returned from his adventure. Zelda and Try. Hopefully your adventures are going well. The snow is coming down hard, but it'll ease up soon. You two are welcome to relax here. Kande's home is your home. Kande's so sweet. So, we can wait here a while for a while, Zelda. What a relief. Well, that's good, but if we need to catch up with his brother to see if we can't catch a ride with that hot air balloon to Holy Mount Ren Lanairu, we might wanna hustle. Kande told us that his big brother headed to Holy Mount Lanairu from the peak of Heber Mountain. But for now, enjoy the comfort of Kande's house until the blender, bl blizzard is over. Sure. Do you mind if I take a look around? You got these big comfy beds and this big book too. Oh, I can read this. Kande's Daily Diary. Today was sunny. My snow patrol was the same as yesterday. Today was snowy. My snow patrol was the same as yesterday. Today was very snowy. My snow patrol was the same as yesterday. Uh, this goes on like that for a while. And I guess this is that. Oh, this is so cute. So which one's Kande? Kande made that picture. Big Brother taught Kande many things, like how to crush rocks to make paint. He's a part of my family, close to Kande's heart. Uh huh. Just a little earlier, Kande saw Big Brother. He was walking here on the mountain. Kande saw him from behind and called out, but he vanished into the storm. Kande chased after Big Brother, but couldn't find him anywhere until finally, Kande fell asleep in the snow after all that running. Maybe Big Brother will come home soon. I sure hope so. Maybe we can help you somehow? It hasn't stopped snowing hard yet. Rest here just a little longer. You can pass the time by looking at the things in Kande's home if you want. Sure. What is this? I mean, it looks like a lot of big tools. Those are my cleaning tools. Kande uses them to clean this mountain. Dad used to clean with Kande. Some of those are actually his tools. Oh! It's not snowing so hard now. The time has flown by much faster than when Kande was alone. Anyway. Now that it's safe to go outside, Kande's going out there to clean. Wait, Zelda and Tri wanted to go to Ho Holy Mount Nairu, right? Head to the top of this mountain. That's where Big Brother launched his balloon. Aw, well, guess we should head up there then. Was there anything else to check out? I mean, I guess it's too late to get Kande's, like, uh, commentary on it, but that's okay. Maybe at some other point in time. And yet, it really is a lot calmer out here. Dad, Kande promises to do his best to give the mountain a good cleaning today. Aw. Okay, here goes. 
You're doing a good job. Looks like you opened up some kind of pathway. Whoa, see ya. Quite the jumper. It seems like cleaning means something else to him, like removing the snow. I sense my friend somewhere inside there, Zelda. Huh. You're able to leave Conde's house now that the blizzard is over. Try his sense that some of their friends are in a cave that Conde just cleared the entrance to. Gotcha. Well, I think we'll head into this cave in just a second, but before we do, I'm gonna take a look around. We've got this thing. How is that Conde's father? Well, I think it's more of a memorial or gravestone for Conde's father, which is really sad to hear. What's going on this way? Wow. Oh, this is where it picks up again. I mean, luckily we have the potion. Maybe I should make the most out of it and poke around up here real quick. Ooh, there's some new enemies and everything up here too. Whoa. We put out some of these guys for sure. Is there a chest I get for clearing these guys out? I think so. So let's get this figured out real quick. But I probably don't want to go too far in this direction. All right, you up there. Hold on. I'll just do some good old fashioned range moves just to get rid of you. And I guess I could just bring you down here forcibly with try. That might have been a better idea. Here, get out over there. You're coming with me. There you go. Great job. And then over here, same deal then. There we go, deal with my big friend. I don't see anything else around here, unless I can melt these icicles at some point. I mean, there's gotta be more somewhere. The music is still playing if there's enemies about. Uh, But I don't see any? Uh, That's peculiar. It must be that I can like melt it somehow. Hold on, what if I did this? Here you go. Whoa, that got me a pumpkin. There's another one right here. So do that real quick. Didn't get me anything that time. What else has to be done to get this treasure chest? I just don't see any enemies over here, so unless it's like way up there. Oh, hey, here you are. You're, you have a shield, so we really gotta be fast about this one, but there you go, you made it look like it was no problem. Uh, so I should get another friend out and start melting this up as fast as possible. I guess I could sort of multitask a little bit. Just like that, right down this way. Sometimes it doesn't quite work. Maybe I need the actual brazier. Uh, where'd it go? Should be around here somewhere. There's just so many options now. Here we go. Uh, here we go. No, this one too. There you are. Let's fight you. I think you're the last guy we need to knock out here for this treasure chest. And there we go, we got it. Cool, that took a little bit of work, but well worth it. Okay, spinning back over there then. What do we got inside of this one? Maybe some more Twisted Pumpkins? We get some Radiant Butter. 10 portions of it too. Quite the helping. Okay, let's get this here. I'm just very curious to see what else we can find in this direction at this point. Uh, okay, I'm on fire at the moment, but it looks like a cave up this way. Whoa. I don't know if I should get too carried away with this right now, because this is clearly something, whoa. Yeah, I don't know. There are some monsters around here for sure. I think I want to go back here and explore just like whatever I can now that the winter is gone. But maybe I should just go into that cave. Because, you know, we, we have plenty of time to explore. I don't want to get too sidetracked. Okay, so we're back here. And it was right over this way. Yeah, that the it's really only in this specific area that the thing is chilled out a little bit, the storm. Whoa, so now that I got this, I can melt a lot of ice, no problem. There might be some monsters in these though, I gotta be careful. So far, not quite the case. Put that there, and then, I guess I need just something to break these boxes, so. Oh, that actually opened up the doorway over there too, cool. Pick up this apple, some grapes over here, and that's it. Whoa, okay, we got some more keys here, which our friend before dealt with that really, really well. I really need to spawn you in more often because you're really good. Going through here then, and whoa. Can I melt these? Yes. 
doing so seems pretty well. Wait a minute, I can learn this. Whoa, I can just make these then. Cool, you'll learn the ice block echo. Like most ice, this block slides when pushed and floats in water. It also melts in the heat. Again, like most ice. So I can, yeah, I can push these. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so what's going on over here? Uh-oh, we got an enemy in there. All right, well, he's not doing much. <laughs> I'll just leave that, put this here. Okay, there's more than one path, huh? Gotcha. There, this here, and then this one. Okay, which way should we go first? I mean, I suppose this way. Whoa, hey! It's Conde. What are you up to? Conde's got to clean up this mess and before Big Brother gets home. It's not working, though. Still, Conde won't give up, no matter what. Maybe I can help you, Conde, because I don't think that's gonna work. Huh? What's wrong? Conde is cleaning up this dark gunk. Trying and trying, anyway. Gunk? Do you mean that rift? Ooh. This gunk has been messing up things all over these mountains lately. Conde has to clean this up before Big Brother comes home. You can't get rid of a rift that way. Oh. Really? But Conde is pretty sure this will work. Just need to try harder. Um, but... <laughs> try. Thank you for wanting to help. It makes Conde happy. But this is something that Conde needs to do. Okay, time to clean. Somehow. I mean, he's not going to listen to us, is he? I appreciate Conde's persistence, but at the same time, I don't think brute force is what's gonna get him his answer. As Conde cleans the mountains, he's trying to get rid of a rift. Despite what Tri said about it, he's going to keep doing it his way. All right, well, I'm not here to tell him what to do, but I am here to help however I can. So if we can go over this direction, aha, we can hop into this rift and clear it up one way or another. I can create an entrance here. Stand back, Zelda. All right. Here we go. Try and entrance to the rift that's inside a Hebra, Hebra Mountain cave. Enter this rift and look for Tri's friends. All right, let's get going. Whoa. I can sense my friends here. They're trapped. They're trapped in five areas to be exact. If we risk it them all, we can fix this rift. Sounds like a plan. So let's look around a little bit, distilled Heber Mountain Caves. I definitely wanna clear up as much of the ice as possible too. Uh, there we go, right there. Pick that up for sure. And then, oh, right there. There you go. That was good. Now this one, I don't know if I can do this very easily, but, oh no. Oh, not quite. Not like that at the least. I need to get over there. So let me just make a tile to fly over real quick. And then land, yeah, right there. Perfect. There. Let that stuff melt up a little bit. Whoa. Uh, and... Uh, here. Because I think this will be our first one. You can tell that it's, yeah, under that, which is the way it's gleaming purple. Got it. And if we go back over here. No, oh, okay. Thought I jumped. Guess I didn't. I need to get some of these. These, like, you know, extra energy points, but they just don't want to come over. I'll try to this one. There you go. Uh, I think that'd work a bit better. This is right next to it. What about over here? Whoa, watch it. <laughs> Got that one. And this one. They're not really dropping too much just yet, but occasionally they drop a pumpkin, so I guess it's worth it. Okay. That one right there. See, like, why is that one not working? Very peculiar. Oh, I guess it's one space off. Let's get this one here then. Whoa. Okay, buddy. Need you to back off a little bit. Thank you. And then I just want to, whoa. Try to get up here if I can. I don't know if that's enough. Could I like, no, I, I don't think I can fire another one until that one 
is launched. Okay, so get up here real quick. There we go, much better. Check this one, that's two out of five. And, uh, right here. Hmm. Lost the figure out still, but that was a great start. I think we just wanna go this way for now. Oh, that almost worked. There we go, cool. And after enough time, that melts it. Oh no, <laughs> whoops. There we go, made the jump a bit better this time. I need to find my way up there though. And if we do, as you can tell, there is a, oh no, I can't make that jump. Whoops, let's do this maybe. There you go, that's a bit better. How can I get this over there? Cause that doesn't quite work. Uh. Maybe from here? No, wrong direction. Almost. Oh, come on. What if I got a little higher up? No, nope. Okay, sort of, but I need it one space over. Oh, oh how does that not work? What are you talking about? All right, all right. One more time, do that. Go here. Okay. This is getting to be a mess. I need to like call that one back real quick. Make the bed, cause I can make two beds. Actually three beds, no. There we go, there we go. And then from here, please let that work. Why is that not working? Why is that not working? I'm losing my mind on this one. That is upsetting that that does not work. Uh. I would say then, maybe if I could just get a little bit closer. And if I could just do that, fly over, here we go. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be very confused. Luckily, it's gonna work. Give me that one then. Cool. Then, I think we'll get the trampoline out, which is right here. Nope, nope, turn around Zelda. Ooh. Got an enemy up here I gotta be careful of. Ow, that wasn't very careful. Here, I'll get you. Ow, come on. <laughs> are you serious? How are you getting me from there but I can't get you? There we go. Then I can activate this one. This one's four out of five. We're getting there, we're getting closer. That's where I was before. So at this point, all I need to do is find, oh, my way to that little island, I think is our next thing. So instead I should be going, right over here. And then from here, I could just ride this over, switch over to our Dark Nut level three, then we can work on all this. I don't know if there's gonna be a treasure chest in any of this, so I just wanna at the least make sure that I get rid of these ice icicles, but then we have our last one right there, so that'll be pretty good. Get the Electro Apple. He's still trying to throw snowballs at me. Gotcha, and got it. Okay, ended up not being too much more. So as long as you don't have anything. Just one rupee. All right, cool. I think we did it then. I don't see anything else to reach. So we're gonna activate this. It'll be our fifth group of friends so that we can head out of here. We found all my friends in this area. Now we can mend this rift. All right, with everybody here, we'll be able to mend up this rift. Conde will be super pleased. Could you ask for a better situation? I don't think so. Conde is like my favorite character so far out of the whole game. He's so adorable. My friends shared some of their power with me. A little bit more then. Closing on level eight, big moves. All right, and some more my crystals. We get two more from that. Getting closer to another level up then, right? Yeah, I needed 20, so let's get back to your world now. All right, let's get going. Mm. 
now that we're back, this room is looking pretty empty. But the quest is updated. You saved Tri's friends and took care of the rift that was in the Heber Mountain Cave. Oh, and here's Conde, as happy as can be. Oh, wow, the Dark Gunk is gone. Conde was right to keep trying. Don't know if we re reinforced the best habit, but I'm glad he's happy. He doesn't waste time, does he? That rift we just saw was fairly small. I wonder where we can enter the huge one. Huh? What's up? Oh, hey. I sense my friends. They're somewhere above us. Let's go to the top of the mountain, Zelda. Kande was happy to see the cave rift taken care of, and he has now gone off somewhere else. Try said they can sense more of their friends from top the top of the mountain. All right, so let's do that soon then. First, let's try to melt down some of these just in case they have anything for me. Doesn't look like they do. And then we'll go up. Ooh, okay. Couple more things happening here. I can't push these like two at a time, so. I could do that. Then I should be able to push. Yeah, there we go. Cool. I still have to melt it though, just so that I can get past all this. We got some enemies over here we gotta be careful of. I don't know why I did that. You know what, let me go ahead and put the bed down now. Because I have a feeling I'm gonna need it sooner or later. So I'll just heal up real quick and then we'll continue down this hallway. All right, we're back to it then. Put that bed away and Keep torching everything up around here then. I don't know how that broke the thing there. That was weird. Uh, I guess I can't climb over just yet, but if I do that, there we go. Mounts all sorts of stuff. Now I can finally maybe speed things up a bit. I don't know. <laughs> Face this way. I don't know how that happens so often with the analog stick, but it really does. Well, what do you think you're doing? Here, spawn in my friend. Oh, now you're in trouble. You're stuck in the room with him. Take you back. I'll do the brazier. Come on. Got it. Okay. That should get rid of the rest of them right here. Okay, we did it. I keep doing that for some reason. And now we're through. There's more though. Oh, jewels! Okay, we got a giant snowball. And it looks like, whoa, wait a minute. Could I? I can't grab it, but it looks like I can learn it somehow. Here. Okay, get my friend over there, if possible. There you go. Get rid of you as soon as we can. Much safer now. Oh, actually, I don't wanna do this just yet. Cool that we found a way up, but there's clearly more to find. So if I could get over here quickly, quickly, ow! And then, do that, we'll get ourselves a monster rock, monster stone. So can I just, oh yeah, learn it like that, whoa! Cool, you learned the snowball echo. This large ball of snow rolls quickly downhill. While it's painful to be struck by, it is surprisingly fragile. So can I just, whoa, that's fun. So I can throw out two of those. And even when I'm not on a slope, those will definitely cause some damage. Very nice to see that. So what if I did it here? <laughs> yeah, I can just roll over everything. That is so cool. I'm definitely gonna make the most out of that one. Oh, hey, and we're getting farther in the Heber Mountain. Get a little checkpoint here. Nice. This waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp here using the map. I sort of wanna go back and explore more of the other spots too. But first things first is I see an enemy over here. Oh, okay, you can't do that. Uh, snowball attack. Uh, there you go. <laughs> that worked pretty well. Oh, don't go in the water. Get up, get up. It's way too cold for that, unfortunately. Yeah, I can keep hitting you with the snowballs and eventually I can learn ya. You learned the I Ice Octo Echo. This monster freezes foes with icy spit. The cold within it leaks out of its head. Gotcha. Seems like there's quite a lot to get to around here too. I don't know where we should focus on first. Uh, I can try to knock you out a little bit, but, uh, come on. I don't know if that does too much damage. Like, I think we're better off just having, oh no, the dark not do his thing. Whoa, get a blue rupee out of that one. 
don't mind if I do. And then, okay, somehow that worked because it was on top of it. Grab that, jump back out, and then over here. Oh, there's a heart container over here. Definitely gotta get that figured out then. Then you, you do that, that'd be pretty cool, but I don't think it's gonna work too much. Here. You take a lot of shots, but we got you. And then you too, awesome. So, how am I getting over here? First things first is I think I should probably just try to get one right there, melt that one, and the other one if possible, just so that I can make a tile. Oh, that was sort of weird. Thought I could jump up. I can. There we go, heart container. So we need three more. I know we just got a heart upgrade not too long ago, so. Three more is the goal. If I want to be able to get another health upgrade. Not that one. And then this one. Oh, not what I wanted. Luckily it didn't damage me though. Is there anything more down here? And I can only imagine if you're over here, right? But maybe not. Do this. If that gotcha. And I can't. Yeah, nothing really over here. Okay. Let's try to hop out of the water somewhere. I can manage, just like that. Okay. Hop on this one. Jump over. Same thing here. This has gotta lead to more somewhere. It seems like, don't know where that's gonna go. I mean, that sort of falls back down to it, where we were before. But there is a cave over here. Interesting. What will this be then? Whoa, hey, new enemy. I can try to fight you. Whoa, whoa, gotta be careful though. Are you gonna dive down at all? Maybe you won't. Maybe I should do this. There you go, that works pretty well. Nice. I wanna go learn you then for sure, but it's falling. Uh, and okay, luckily it respawns when it does that. Cool. You got the zero echo. This troublesome flying monster spits a continuous rain of bombs from on high. That's actually pretty cool. If I fall down one of these, will this bring me to a different room? It won't. Okay, so that means I just wanna get up there, which just requires a quick crotula. And we're up. Cool. Whoa. What are we doing here? And I guess I can just get gusted around a little bit. Just like that. Sort of helps me jump from place to place, actually. I like that. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oop, cool. And, oh, one of you. Oh, I have to time this. Just right, don't I? Uh, maybe. Why would I do that? When I could just, oh, missed time my jump upon my doom. That will work though. Here we go. Oh, not the best timing now. Okay. Uh, come on. Okay, come on, dude. I'm on it, we're moving, we made it. So, I think that rift on the right there, the, the gust is gonna push us up. Oh, this is closing, scary. Help me out, Dark Knight. That should help a little bit. Gotcha, and you over here, come on, come on. Come and get us. Uh, Dark Knight, come on, <laughs> give it a big swing. Nice, that's at least something. We're not quite done. I think there's probably gonna be enemies hiding behind some of these or something. Oh, there's a slime as well. And is that it? <laughs> I think so, I think it's just this little guy. So you should be able to handle him, no problem. There it is, cool. This is like a miniature dungeon or something, I don't know. Okay, so. It's not really clear if I'm like really going the right way or not. There's like seemingly so much to explore in this area, but I'll do this and that. Can I fight these guys? Oh yeah, we ran into like the dark versions of these guys at some point. Okay, so let's go ahead and learn it if I can. Uh, not good, not good. Here, uh, can I just get you to cut that out for like two seconds, please? Okay, I'm really not appreciating you at this moment because you won't let me breathe. Come on, run. And then while you're way over there. That's not gonna work. 
but this well. Ah, uh, sort of. Here, I gotta move a little bit farther, then move a little bit more over. Now you're in trouble. <laughs> we found a way to do it. Cool. That was so ridiculous, but we're through, and we can learn that enemy. So this is the Freezer Echo. On spotting an enemy, this monster will blow out icy breath as it implacably pursues its its quarry. All right. Let's get over here. And whoa. Is that all Azolfos in there? What is that in there? No, I think it's just a Moblin. Okay, you're free, so you're gonna have to fight this guy. Hope you're ready for that. There we go, very cool. And then place that there. Back over this way then. And here. Get the blue rupee from this one. And then over this way, we got the uh, twisted pumpkin. Glad we're finding so many more of those. Still, so much more to find everywhere, but I guess in the meantime, let's fight you. This guy got jumped back into the, the torches all on his own. Two more pumpkins, whoa. And where will this lead? Uh, Man, this just keeps going. I feel like I might have missed a bit too, so I'll have to backtrack a little. Whoa. I don't think there was anything else in there. I sort of want a map for this cave. Okay, this guy, not interested in dealing with this. See ya. Uh, we really gotta move for this, don't we? Ooh, okay, just gotta hustle over. Grab this, and whoa. All right, try to avoid all this as well as we can then. Maybe I can like make something that I'll block it off a bit more. Even if it's just a boulder. And then undo it, switch. Nice and safe, I prefer that. There you go. Same deal up here. I could just plop that there. That should do the trick for sure. All right, heading back up. And as long as there's not yeah, anything over there. We're good to get to the top of this thing, I suppose. And here is an exit. I feel like there were alternate paths I could have taken that I didn't. Where are we now? Did we go up or down? I can't even tell at the moment. Uh, This has gotten so confusing, but there are enemies everywhere, including some new looking ones. Okay, no, no, no. Uh, Not you, but this guy? He's got it. Can you guys cut it out? Here. Check out my friend over here. He's gonna help me out big time. I will learn you, whatever you are. Quite the looker, Moa Echo. Fiercely protective of its allies, this floating monster fires eye beams at foes. With no one to protect, it calms down. Interesting. All right, so what's going on over here then? I just feel like the more I explore, the more I'm gonna have to backtrack. It's crazy how much there is around this area. Uh, okay, another path over there. And put that there. We got, oh hey, well worth it. A mic crystal. Refills our bar and gets us 13 of them in total. Ouch, almost fell. Luckily I didn't, oh hey, Conde again. Almost, almost to the top. Conde hasn't come here in a long time. Huh? huh? Whoa! Huh? Oh, is that Big Brother? Sure looks like it. Oh. Hey, hey! Conde has missed you. It's been so lonely around here. Uh-oh. Why are you running away? Where are you going? Hey! It's not far behind though. As Conde climbed Heber Mountain, he started chasing someone and jumped farther up the mountain. All right, well first things first, I wanna take this checkpoint. Clearly plenty more to explore around here. I want to backtrack a little bit. We have missed some stuff, without a doubt. 
I don't know what's over here, inside the cave itself. Down this way, there was also a little thing to find. I wanna find that stuff. I don't wanna miss it or forget about it until like way later. So now's the time for sure. So we're back here, Heber Mountain. And I just didn't really go to the east here at all. I figured I was like finding the extra, like, you know, way that I'd wanna go to first, but found, it seemed, turns out that's the way I was supposed to go. Oh, there's a treasure chest in here, so let's pull that out if I can. Might have to make like a little platform up. No, never mind, I got it. So, open this up, and inside we get a red rupee. Cool. Anything else? Oh, ice whiz robe. What do I have I can fight you with? Because you are not gonna be pleasant to fight. I don't know. I mean, I might just wanna keep with our dark nut. And then, whoa, just barely dodge out. Okay. Try to, if I could get you like stuck in one spot and then spawn this in, that would have worked so well. Come on, come on. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Nice. I am in trouble though. Uh, Okay. I need to heal up. I should activate this first actually, then. Bombard the guy with arrows. Nice. Got it. Come on. No, over here. It's slow going. Oh, I got him. Okay, cool. So turn off that, get over here, and learn this. Come on, come on. Got it. There we go. You learned the Ice Wizard Robe Echo. A mighty caster of ice magic, this creature warps across the sky, freezing enemies with frigid blasts. Nice. All right, let's get out of this before we freeze. And I don't know if there'll be much up there, but I certainly wanna try to figure out if we can get up there. And just see if there's anything to find. All right. Head up there, Mr. Crawling Spider. Doesn't seem like it. But worth poking around to be extra sure. Okay, well I'm glad I did that. We found one important creature for sure and a treasure chest with some rupees. So while it wasn't anything huge in some ways, Definitely still good to do. I'm gonna go back over here. Like I said, there was that one pocket area that had another cave with another strange looking enemy. Let's go check that out too. Okay, so we gotta be careful because all these enemies are back. I think carrying the brazier with me is actually keeping me warm. It looks like even, I didn't realize this, but this treasure chest respawns even though we did get all those before. I'm not gonna worry about it too much right now just because we already got it previously, but maybe I can at least fight these guys who are cornering me or not. Uh, never mind. Whatever, we're out of there. I wanna check out this cave and see what's inside. There's gotta be some cool stuff, right? Uh, at least there's you. You are like a high level moblin. Whoa. Do that really quick. And then as soon as I can, it's time for the dark nut to help me out or not. All right, do that. But we're not leaving it just like that. I'm gonna slice myself, uh, you a little bit myself, but he was very quickly defeated. I was expecting them to be a lot more of a situation. All right. You learned the Sword Moblin Level 3 Echo, a veteran moblin that has mastered using its huge sword and shield to cut down all opponents. Cool. All right, over here, what do we get inside of this one? Whoa, new artifact and energy belt. You're not sure what this belt is made of. It increases the likelihood that much more energy will appear when you defeat dark monsters. So I probably only wanna equip it during certain circumstances, but still very cool. And that means I can get out of here. The one other thing I wanted to explore is basically, I mean, I followed him through this. We didn't go up here and we also didn't check out this. We also didn't go up here. So there's still a couple of smaller things I really wanna take a look at if I can. Okay, so it seems like, yeah, around here, and there's a couple of enemies I need to steer clear of, but if I do this, ow, rude, uh, I might be able to get some things done. Okay, if they're gonna be fighting me like that, let's definitely get our Dark Nut friend out, like that, and then I will just grab my own. No, not that. Here, Dark Nut there. No, I wanna grab the thing right next to me, right in my face, thank you. Uh, and then while we're melting all these, Hopefully that Dark Nut can just take out more enemies, like these guys over here. So I don't wanna deal with them. It seems like they're doing that, but I need to get back over. Oh, they destroyed my thing, okay. Get that there, and then I'll do another one. I just wanna save my potion for if I really, really need it later. 
Got it. Melting these two. There's some more ingredients. I see this treasure chest, we'll definitely get this in a second. Because if we can find, you know, more important items, like we found that artifact just a second ago, we can find a heart container too, that'd be really big. Do this, grab this one, and boom, got it. So what's inside of this? We got another Twisted Pumpkin, six of them. So now we have quite the collection of those, which is great. And oh, look at this, there is actually an access point to something. So I definitely wanna take a look at this too. And what about all these? And then one more right down here. I don't think this one will have much. Oh no, never mind. has a Twisted Pumpkin. And is there anything on top? Because on the map, it looks like there could be. So if I could, that's not what I wanted. If I could do this. Nope. Hold on. No, where are you going? Come back, please. I do every single wrong button. Crawl up there. And I mean, there's certainly something here. What could this be? Uh, hey, a might crystal. Exactly what I was hoping for is that kind of thing. Cool. So, get back down here and into this cave, where hopefully it's a little bit warmer. Whoa, so what is up with this? Uh, first things first. Ow. Uh, there. Knock him out, buddy. You got it. I could go up this way, but I can't really access anything. So let's do this and melt away everything as much as I can. Okay, so this time it's not destroying it, maybe because I'm just holding it up like this. Usually these fall and it destroys it, so I'm glad that's not happening. This, okay, I said it too soon, but still. Got it. Let's get that one spider out here, the strangula. And while I'm over here, time for a dark nut. So how am I opening that up? It looks like there's one of those guys there. Gotta get rid of this icicle. And then another treasure chest for us. Very nice. Flower jar, or drawer, or jar of floral nectar. Whatever you wanna call it. So if I were to just put this right here, would it break apart? Oh, it doesn't. Perfect. So that's just a matter of time. I don't see too much else going on. So I will hop down here with this. And then I guess move it over once. Do a bit of that. This water will freeze me though, which is a little unfortunate, but that worked for a second. Uh, darn, that's not what I wanted. Do that. There you go. That's what I was hoping for. Now I can pull out the tile. Maybe just get across some of this. Yep, yep, yep. All right, looking good. Nothing really up here. So if I could just, okay, that's not working super well, actually. How many of those can I make? Just two, I think. Oh, I'm getting burned up. Okay, that sorta of worked. I need to, wait, no, I can just bounce on top of you. There we go. I wonder if there's anything, not there. There you go. It won't let me pass there. Sort of silly, but okay. Here, uh, how do I wanna do this? I think I want to do this. There you go. Melt up some of this ice. And then maybe get rid of it. No. No. There. Okay, <laughs> never mind. I think it's fine. Uh, Cause I just don't really know if there's anything actually over there. Don't hit me with that. Like, yeah, I'm really not sure. Put this, no. <laughs> Oh my gosh, no, hold on. I'm like one pixel off, so it doesn't work. Oh, will it just not fit in there? There it goes. I don't know if there'll even be anything over there, I just wanna make sure. I think we're fine, I think we're fine. Uh, Put this here. 
and then, okay, we're, we've made it all the way around. That's good. Get down here. I think I just need to hit this thing once. Perfect. Open up this treasure chest and inside we find another golden egg. We've gotten so many of these recently, we're up to eight of them. So there is that done. Obviously there's still more of a path to find some stuff, so I'm not done, but that was definitely a good step forward for sure. Okay, let's get down here and continue adventuring around. I'm happy we're making good progress with stuff though. Uh, now might be the time, since I clearly have a lot more exploring to do, let's take this chill proof potion. So I just don't have to worry about it and go down this way. Some more enemies around here, which once again, the Dark Nut should be able to handle. Ouch. Over here too. I'm just looking around all over the place. This is where I was after. Oh, and it's not even super crazy frozen over here. Oh no, hey, it's you. Hold on, let's first get this. You don't look so good, are you okay? But it's another smoothie vendor. Urgh. If not for that warming smoothie, I'd be freezing my leaves off. I came to Heber Mountain because I heard it had twisted pumpkins, but it's just snow and more snow. Those funny looking snowmen. Here I was hoping to reel in customers with tasty twisted pumpkin smoothies. Oh my dear twisted pumpkin, where are you hiding? Getting it twisted. A business scrub climbed Heber Mountain, hoping to make a new kind of smoothie but they haven't found any twisted pumpkins. I found quite a few. Brr, if I don't get my hands on a twisted pumpkin soon. Here you go. Twi that's a twist. P -p 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 twisted pumpkin. Wow, never seen one in person before. That pretty swirling shape, that shiny waxy skin. I'm in love. I'm good and keyed up now. I'm going to open up shop right away. Here, for helping me out. All right, we get something to keep us warm. 10 warm peppers. How many pumpkins did we give you? Ah, uh, it's even more beautiful than I had heard. What a stunner. I'm not cold at all now. The burning fire in my heart is keeping me warm. All right, there we go. Getting a twisted completed. The business scrub on Heber Mountain was grateful for the twisted pumpkin you gave them. And the smoothie shop is open. So I guess just one. Hey there, welcome to the smoothie shop. What can I do for you? Smoothie, please. I think I want to make more of those. Uh things that we did before, so if I did this and this, it'll make that warming potion. Awesome. You got it. Just in case I need another one later. Now we have it. Also a bit curious of uh, what other things we can make. Like, these two I've done. Uh, this and this I've yet to do with the golden egg. Let's try this out. Because it looks like there's only one more item we haven't gotten on that like list of ingredients. Some of this, some of that, mix it all up, and what do we get? Oh, uh, whoa! You got a golden piping hot smoothie. A spicy fragrant smoothie whose flavors contain hidden depths of subtle subtlety. Nice. And how are we doing in terms of recipe count for our side quest? Something I'd like to know. Uh, four to go. I wonder if we can come up with those right now. Uh, smoothie, please. What have I not done? I haven't done this. Let's try this out and hope to make something new. We get a golden tough smoothie. I think that's new. Uh, let's see. If I combined these, it probably won't make anything good, but we don't know until we try. Yep, nothing good. All right, I didn't read the description for this, did I? Uh. Firm fruit pulp lends this smoothie texture while the umami gives it a bold flavor. Cool. So what else do we got with this? And I did this one, I didn't do that one. Uh, I didn't do it with the milk. That's gotta make something original. You got it. No, golden smoothie. You'd think it'd be like a milky golden smoothie or something, I don't know. Odd. What if I did bubble kelp with that? I feel like it wouldn't be tasty, but who knows? I'm not the smoothie master. Whoa, we get something new. You got the golden bubble smoothie. Nice. This bubbly beverage comes with a savory surprise in the depth of its umami flavor. So we're all filled up with smoothies right now. Yep. So let's chat with you. It's chilly on this mountain. You go unprepared, you'll catch a cold. That's why I keep myself good and toasty with a warm pepper smoothie. All right. 
and taking a look at that quest. Two more to go. So we'll find those combos eventually. I'm really glad I went out of my way to check that out though. And what about, whoa, hey, here's a new enemy. Didn't see you before. Uh, so sorry to blindside you like that, but wow, you are ferocious. This is, what seems like a wolf. Yeah, Wolfos Echo. This wolf-like creature is the bane of travelers, circling ominously around them to show to sow fear and confusion. Whoa, cool. So here's one. You can see they really move. We're pitting them against each other, but I can get a mic crystal under here. Sort of expected it with how it was laid out. Um, cool. And that'll be 15 of them now. I don't see too much else besides that one keys to take on, so I think as long as we can go around here and just make extra sure there wasn't anything else to find, we should be fine in general. You guys can work on that. Because yeah, this is where uh, Pande jumped over. This is not what I wanted it to be. Hold on, there. And, whoa, ice keys over here too. Gotta be careful, but that. Uh, you, I'm not gonna worry about, I'm just gonna move past as many enemies as possible, but oh no, that was a mistake too. Uh, let's fight you then, and then you over here, please don't knock me off anymore. All right, go for it. Nice, another rupee. I know that you're still a little troublemaker over here, so. Help me out, Dark Knight, please. <laughs> I know you can spawn in there. No, this way, this way, this way. Yeah, this guy. Why, how do you miss that? <laughs> oh no, this is maybe causing me more problems than it's worth, but there we go. Back over here then. I need the Crotula. To climb up here and open up this chest inside. We find, whoa. 11 handfuls of monster guts. That's awesome, because that is the one ingredient type. We've gotten this before, but it is particularly difficult to find. Really exciting pickup there, for sure, because we could use that for a lot of potential smoothie things. All right, so that's where Conde jumped over to before. So I think we're at a pretty good spot here, where the only other thing I wanted to try is that we went into this cave, right? No, no, we went into this cave. Climbed up here, didn't we? No, that was, I can't remember. Wasn't there more than one pathway here? I feel like there might have been. No, that was pretty linear. It was really this one I was concerned that I might have missed a couple of things. So I'm gonna try to go through this again just to make sure we didn't miss any other pathways. And then if not, we can continue with the path we were on before. Whoa, yeah, okay, so I backtracked all the way back to Conde's house. And we went down that path before after clearing all, all these icicles. I never checked this out. And you can see there's a treasure chest right there. So that's exactly what I've been concerned about is that I, I might be, whoa, missing something. But I think we figured it out. So that's good. We need to get up here. And then maybe I can make this before the snowball falls on me. There we go. Excellent. And that gives me a purple rupee. Nothing too crazy, but hey, I'll take whatever I can get. And I should just be able to, okay, jump. But if I jump, I should be able to make it. Yep, nice, safe, and sound, just like that. Cool, I'm glad that we figured that out. Uh, there might be more in this cave and in the following cave that I missed just like that, which is why I'm trying to be a little bit more thorough than before. Okay, one thing I wanted to see is, will this push me up somewhere? No, okay, I thought that maybe that would like push me up to some kind of secret exit to this cave. It didn't though. But I went through one of these rooms. I believe this one. And I never went through any of the others. This is now the second cave. Yeah, I definitely did not go in this room. So this is what I'm just trying to figure out. I was like, what in the world did I maybe miss? It seems like potentially quite a lot. Getting rid of a lot of the ice though. There's definitely gonna be something of interest behind here. It looks like it's a treasure chest. Awesome. And it's gonna be even more monster guts. That is actually so exciting because there's so many different combos I haven't done with those either. So there's a higher potential that we're gonna find everything we need. Very cool. Okay, so with that done, I don't know if there's anything else I missed in these caves. I'll still continue to look just in case, but I think at this point we're good. Okay, so at this point I'm pretty confident that we found everything leading up to this spot. I mean, I guess there might be more over here, but that sort of connects to what we're almost at. So for right now, 
What's over in this direction? Anything? Uh, yeah, it seems like it goes out to some rifts over here too. So really just trying to get a good grasp on everything. Ow, okay, whoops. Get around that, oh hey, what? Really? It's the Sam guy. Ugh! Who would put a Sam stand on Heber Mountain of all places? Didn't you? Weren't you the only guy? Me! Who else? <laughs> It'd be truly uplifting to pull a stamp in this place with all of its sl silvery snow. But now, my stamp stand's been swallowed up. Did that dark stuff want to pull that badly? You can't have this place all to yourself, dark stuff. Spit it out! It's too cold for this, but I'd really like to have my stamp stand back again. Well, I can help with that. Stamp stand swallowed. You met the stamp guy on a snowy mountain. He's crushed to see what's happened to one of his stamp stands. It's been swallowed up by a rift. My hopes are going up in smoke. This snow doesn't even look like snow. It's a pile of ashes. Just my luck that my stand gets swallowed up so fast. I just put it put it here. Well, I can definitely help out with that. We're just gonna hop in straight away, clear up this rift, and of course, with it, save your stamp stand. Let's get going, try. We got some stamps to save. I think this would actually be the first one of our stamp card as well, so pretty exciting. I can sense my friends here. They're trapped. They're trapped in three areas to be exact. If we risk getting them all, we can fix this rift. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. Three of them's not too many. This is the stilled Hepper Mountain Passage. Okay, looks like we gotta get over here. Gotten pretty zippy with this stuff. As long as I can just get over here, spawn in some dark nuts to fight these guys. Okay, right there then. Ooh, got the height advantage too. I think he had's gonna be in here. Safe to say. So let's get that figured out. And while we are, we can set up a couple more of them too. Just like that, boom. First of three, figured out. And then another one here. Whoa, watch it. Let's get our buddy out here again. So I don't wanna deal with that if I don't have to. Got it, nice. Grab that rupee. Um, and then definitely a couple over here and there. There, nice. Okay, that didn't actually get me anything extra, but it could have, you never know. And then back over this way. So if we take a look at the map, it looks like a whole selection of things. And whoa, this water is luckily not too cold to swim into. I was a little bit worried it would be. Looks like I gotta go this way. I think this might be a good opportunity for our good old friends, the crabs. And takes a couple of them, but we get you. And then over here. How do I melt this? I don't think this would work underwater, obviously. So what do I do? Uh, I mean, I guess if I could just land here, maybe I could find my way up one way or another. Is there anything and I can get up here, but that's not quite enough. I feel like I need to try to find some other way. So there's not much they're gonna be able to grab onto. I mean, I can stand right on the edge of it like this, but they can't do much with that. Interesting. Oh, the bed will float. Whoa, look at this, that's crazy. Okay, and maybe on the side of it then. I still can't quite. Hmm. Well, I suppose what I could do. Let's dive down a little bit. Can I just, hold on. Have I been overcomplicating this the whole time? Yes, I have been. Maybe. I mean, I still can't, oh no, I can move that one. Hold on. Is it just, <laughs> okay. Okay, never mind. My idea would have been pretty cool, but this is way more practical and time efficient, so let's just do that. I always forget I can just move those guys like that. Heading way back down here might have been a little bit of a mistake, but I just seem to get out that way. Just like this, perfect. Okay, whoops, try that again. 
But jump a little bit this time. Have my dark net ready for if these guys really try to pick a fight with me, but I think if I can just get the solid ground over here, I can ooh, get you in trouble, right? Come on, come on. Uh, how do I wanna help with this? Okay, well, first I got you to deal with now. Please leave me alone. Uh, get him over there. And then, so many blocks to choose from and none of them are the one I want. Okay, get that over there. Now that you're like this, I should be able to fight you a little bit. Cause luckily these guys don't get frozen. It's awesome. Cool. So we should be good. Activate this, all three of them have been found. And with it, we should be able to save the, save the stamp guy stamps. We found all my friends, now we can mend the rift. Awesome. Okay. Here they all are. Okay. How's it going, Try This might be enough for a level up, actually. My friend shared some of their power with me. Oh, close, very close. And there is two more Mike Crystals, 17 in total, awesome. So let's get back out there. Oh, he's still concerned, I don't think he's realized. And now I'm seeing things, my poor stamp stand, before tragedy struck. I'm not even dressed right, no sleeves is a rally look, not a, a an I'm ruined look. It's you again. Uh, wait. The dark stuff, it's gone. My stand is really back. Did you do this? Thank you. You went to a world of trouble, but I get it. I do anything to help out, a, out stamp fans too. And stamp fans know. You've got to step up there and get your stamp plumped. My stamp stand here on Abra Mountain is fine again. No need to stick around. But before I go, a little dance for you. Ready, set, go stamp rally! All right, well, glad we could help. Stamp stand swallowed, completed. You recovered the stamp stand from the rift. That cheered up the stamp guy who flew, flew away happily. Nice. Let's go ahead and get that. Our first of this third expert stamp card. I don't see anything up there, but I think we're good to head back over this direction and take a look around. So, Conde saw his brother over here. Seems like there's a lot to find in this direction. Ow. Including a treasure chest right over here. So, pull that open. Nope, <laughs> whoops. Open it up. And inside we get a purple rupee. Nice. Have a lot of money at this point. Nothing up there. I will though. Do this. This looks a little peculiar, like there's something supposed to be here, but not from what I can tell. So might as well head down this way. And here's a heart container. Awesome. I was hoping, or a heart piece, which will get us a heart container eventually. Nice. Nice little health refill too. And I think that might be it for this area. Seems like we explored all the rest of it pretty thoroughly. So I can teleport back over here and we should be in a good spot just to uh, check out what's going on with Conde. All right, so let's get back over there. It was just over here that Conde saw his brother and then his brother jumped away. So I guess we just have to follow after. Oh, there's a big cave waiting for us, so. What are we gonna have to do here? Uh, jump over that. And, oh my, enemy over here. What if I just hit them with this? All right, <laughs> that works, let's try that again. Okay. I can't send two of them over, so. Gotcha, Oh, that must have hurt. That should be enough for me to jump over here. <laughs> nice. Okay, you can't cause me trouble from over there. You're eventually gonna get knocked up by that snowball. 
So I should be fine. Ah, oh, thought I could make it. Uh, well, this is scary. Hide in the corner. Go, go, go. And then you know what? Yeah. You, okay, I was gonna try to grab it. It didn't work. I right, grabbed this one. And then, there we go, they both break. Excellent. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay, I gotta get over there. How am I gonna do that? With the help of a strantula, maybe? Wow, tough spider. Why is this not working? Is there not a ceiling overhead? There is, it's just, you gotta get pretty high up to even reach it. Don't you dare. Okay, no. Let me open up this treasure chest and inside we find some more monster fangs, four of them. Total of 11. So, I just wanna get right up here then. And what is going on? Whoa, these guys are new. What are these things? Giant rock monsters, ooh, and they're not happy. Uh, so, you learned the Temper Twilus Echo. When attacked, this rage-filled rock monster moves much faster and heats up to scorching before cooling again. Cool. And, that seems like everything for this cave. Where are we now? No. Ah! Oh no. Was that Conde? Oh no! What's wrong? B -b Big brother. What happened? Conde thought Big Brother had come home and finally caught up with him. But, but then he knocked poor Conde down. Are you okay? Uh -huh. Don't worry. Conde can brush off an avalanche. So just surprised, that's all. But you don't seem like your normal self. Conde uh... doesn't feel like his normal self. I don't understand. Conde, why would he do that? You've been waiting for him for so long. Uh... Maybe if Conde wasn't good like Conde was supposed to be. Good? What do you mean? Uh... On the day he left, Big Brother said, Big, be good, Conde. Uh... Sometime after that, Dad became one of the stars in the sky. So Conde has been all alone. Conde has been waiting for Big Brother to come home for a long time. Hmm. And lately, Conde has been thinking. Hmm. What if Big Brother never came back home because Conde was good? Hmm. So, Conde has been trying his hardest to be really, really good. Thinking Big Brother would come home then. I see. What will you do? Will you go after him? Well, Conde saw Big Brother go north of here, but Conde isn't going to chase after him. Being knocked down once was enough. Conde doesn't know what else Conde can do. Sorry, Zelda and Try. Conde wants to think here by himself for a while. Aw, poor Conde. My heart is shattered. <laughs> and of course we get an update. You heard Conde shout after you got to the peak of Heber Mountain. His brother knocked him down, and Conde thinks it's because he disappointed him. Conde said his brother went north. What a heartbreaking story. I mean, what I think it really is is that Conde's brother has been taken over by the rift and isn't his normal self. Conde doesn't understand that though, so maybe we can help out a little bit by hopping into the rift, which seems to be right over there in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.